All right, heading to a new project today. Customer called us, wants a new two car garage. So we're gonna do a turnkey build on this one. We're not building a lot anymore, but we wanna help this customer out. She called several people to come out. She obviously isn't paying an architect or an engineer to draw something up. Multiple contractors that come out wouldn't even look at the job without a set of plans. We've built plenty of homes, you know, drawn on a napkin. So we were able to get to the same vision that she wanted. So we're gonna help her out, knock this thing out. We're gonna go dig some footings today. This uh, leak, air leak. What'd you say? This thing was a wreck. Oh, something. they just said you about got a wreck. Oh, oh, oh. We'll move equipment late tonight. Uh, the truck and trail will be here tomorrow. Other tire blower got yeah. I loaded it with that before. The only reason it broke is because Cody dumped it. Remember that day that we yeah. got a wheelie? And then whenever I was trying to push it down with the 210, I think it put a little stress on the on that one, on that one, and it popped. So I can lay that tailgate down, you yeah, know, chain it. That way. Yeah, but it's, I need both times to hold the gate. You talking about taking the tailgate off it completely, or just folding it up? You uh, you lay it out, like so. You take the bolts out of the top and lay it all the way down, and those two lay it down that way. Yeah. Ah, that's a little sketchy. It is sketchy. Yeah, but I don't if you know have, about that. You have both tabs yeah. it's not as sketchy yeah loaded with logs that's a lot of pressure on me <laughs> <laughs> well we've done it a bunch yeah when it had both tabs yeah loaded with logs it can't go nowhere but when you're going back to the job empty and it, and it can bounce that's what's scary so the tabs hold the bottom in place and the chains the chains yeah dude the clutch is brand hammer new man yeah. Who the fuck is this? Yeah, got this old man with cigar. They're here to buy something. <laughs> Selling the loader right now. I don't think so. Now, since we replaced that, you see there's that little bit of leak. We, we just... didn't have a single problem with this thing until a hose about the other day ago, and I put a new hose on it. Yeah. That's about the right size for me. It ain't real big. Yeah, we can still move it around on a ton ton trailer and load dump trucks. Not a little bit of worries about it is if it reach high enough for my trip. Dump Which is pretty high. We load tandems. Yeah, we load big dump well, trucks. Well, I've got tandems, but I've yeah. got five foot side ones. Damn. I don't know if it'll reach that high because uh, on That's a regular right. tandem with a 12 inch sideboard, it's. it's uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get. I know you said you had to well, go. Well, Zach, Zach will be here. Okay. He's my mechanic, yeah. but I got to go haul some dirt on his yeah, job. Okay. So okay. Let's get with him. If you want to do some trading or something, I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, I'd let like me to look, look at that other. Yeah. And if you ain't got no use for the other hoe and you don't want this, I'd still be interested in looking at it. Yeah, yeah, that sounds. I need something here, you know. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a, okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. See you, man. Power wires over there and that. You see it's got brand new paint on it. Why? They must have tried to hide it. Jefferson job is complete. These are our bread and butter jobs. These are what we like to do is where we come in, take absolute raw land to a house site, construction based road and a septic site all in one. It's a longer job so we can kind of get set up, get started, stay on the job for a week or two, go on to the next job where we're not having to bounce around everywhere. But this one's wrapped up.
they fucked just about everything up. All this is supposed to be fucking gravel. They didn't backfill that goddamn sucker tank. That whole fucking bank over there is not goddamn walked in. They, that guy broke a fucking drive shaft. I mean, how do they think that's fucking complete? So, you know, the first day, remember I was pissed off at Cody because he knocked all the one stake and we measured everything off. So there's only one goddamn corner left, you motherfucker. What an asshole put her upside tree. Yeah, what an asshole come up here and knock all that shit down. And we did all of our cut and then the same surveyor comes back and puts all the flags in. Well, who do you think has moved something? You think that we moved and, and, and we'd over dig our wall three feet. So you think we fucked up by really six feet or do you think when they came back the first mark that they shot out was different and so now all these are in the bank and instead of moving the house back just moving it back fixes every bit of this also these are moved way over here because remember we only had 10 feet of driveway that we made and this being the corner of the house would have been in line with this they've when they've come back to reshoot this they've put the house in a different spot and what they did is they started in that back corner and weren't right when they got up here so instead of saying oh let me move this back they fucking put everything in here in the wrong spot i'm not fucking fixing shit i'm done with this goddamn job they can move the fucking house that's what they're gonna have to do is move the house both back and this way god they paid the survey all that's gonna come back out i don't know why they haven't left the, took this off the drum if they got that drum shaft chained up i don't know what the fuck we're gonna do about that i mean there's no fucking dirt to get now you know because he pulled it all down there instead of fucking using it here house now that they've repinned it is away from the river it's also much further away from the septic which is neither of those two things are a major problem but if you remember we allowed for a big overcut in the front there so you can get in a waterproof and gravel and everything yeah and now all the way through the house is very very close to that cut do you think they they moved it from the original staking a thousand percent going back to our old footage i'm like right on the bank on the back pin where their pier is at dude there's 15 feet behind it now. Would you say it would be a good amount to move it? Like, it's gotta move, we gotta move that like at least five feet, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's right on the bank. So you need at least your, your waterproofing room. Uh, okay, I'll reach out to them. Yeah, I, I'd move it both back towards the river and closer to the septic. Cause also remember I called you and I was like, hey man, there's no driveway that goes into the garage. How much do you want? 10 feet is what we cut. Well, dude, there's goddamn 30 feet to our cut now. That's how far toward the woods they've moved it. What would you say in a perfect world? We go back what? 10. Back 10, over 10 to left? 10 uh, it would, would be pretty comfortable and then that's gonna save you on any more having to cut any dirt or anything. And and it's gonna be what he wants too because now you're fucking 20 feet from the riverbank. But the porch piers are 20 feet, never mind the house. All right, well you think we should go back 15 then? Uh, I, I, I mean, now, 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 anything more than 10 feet is gonna be your preference or the customer preference. 10 feet gets you plenty of room to do your waterproofing and your backfill. One caveat is the further back you go, the more backfill you're gonna have to put back in front of the house. Cost-wise, probably wouldn't be good to go much further than 10 feet, but I think 10 feet gets you more than enough waterproofing room it doesn't have a ton of backfill but it also needs to go down the hill at least 10 feet if not remember i was like we might need some boulders where you come into the garage yeah. and then i called you and i was like no nah, we got it cut we got it laid way back well right now that fucking bank we laid way back dude is 10 or 15 feet in front of the corner where you'd come out of the garage you know got everything loaded about to pull out shoot me some pictures of the back pin like you know facing the river just so i can get a guesstimation of how far more i want to move it back from another 10 or more all right let him know this is a base gravel it's gonna pack very very good but it looks looks like dirt doesn't look like gravel but a couple rains will push that dirt to the bottom of the rock and it'll be fine once you're done with final construction do a little dusting of finished gravel and it's great okay all right dude thanks uh, I'll reach out to you. thank you yeah man no problem got any questions call me God damn, I'm all right down there. And here's the current problem with where the house is staked wall corner is actually up on the bank essentially the wall's right here and we had allowed for a three foot overcut very generous on the overcut same here right on the edge here right on the edge of the bank porch wall inside corner right at the toe of the bank comes in staggers over comes back this is all good of course and then here's the next portion is if you remember we were talking about coming out of the garage in this corner septic tanks down there and we had cut this bank back really really far so that we needed no retention here so that pin there should be way out here so that the road would travel right into it this front corner moving out about 10 feet kind of gets you right back in line with that where that stuff's kind of running on the bank if we move the whole house back 10 feet 
will put that mm, you still may not have at least three foot of overcut so 10 to 15 feet now what's that do back here on this back side back here even with our porch piers which are these two we were very close to the edge we'll look at how much room we have here now so over 30 feet we now have from the porch back here now if the customer wants lots of area back here that's fine met with the customer we were really close to this we even talked about not even having steps back here because there was nothing. whole house if it comes toward the river 10 to 15 feet and then moves down toward the septic 10 to 15 feet bring that house back at an angle would alleviate all of that <laughs>